In the previous video, we had learned some basic concepts of CSV and also wrote one CSV file. Now it's time to see the real time use case of CSV. Alright, Byte Scout have provided PDF.co RESTful web API for document manipulation, data extraction, or data conversion, etc. Now, to show you how CSV works in real world, we will invoke one API of PDF.co in Postman. PDF.co provides many APIs to manipulate PDF documents. From them, let's implement this document parser API, which parses and gets data from PDF document using a predefined custom data extraction template. With this API method, you may extract data from fields, tables, values from invoices, any kind of statements, orders, and other PDF or scanned documents. So this is the endpoint of the API. And then next, we need to set the registered API key in the request header. We will use Postman to run this API. By the way, you can download this API request collection. Let me scroll down from this URL to import in Postman. Now let's open the Postman and let's try to understand some of the input parameters for this API in the Postman itself. All right, so I have already set the required parameter of this API. This is our API endpoint. Now let's understand the important parameter of this API one by one. First, let us start with the URL. This is the URL which points to the actual PDF file. So here you can set the links from Google Drive, your Dropbox or from built-in PDF.co file storage. Now let's open this URL to see the PDF file from which we are going to extract the data. Okay, so this is the PDF file for which we will invoke that PDF.co API and this API will fetch this PDF field such as this invoice number, company name, account number, invoice date or say total amount, etc. Now let's see how this PDF.co API will fetch all this information. Okay, and then next we will set the template ID. So let me scroll down. So here we need to set the template ID. In our case, it is one. So what exactly this template is? Okay, so here we have a sample template. This template is nothing but a YAML or JSON file which contains detection rules to extract specific data from the PDF document. Okay, and then next we will set the output format for this API. The output format indicates the default output format of the API response. In our case, we will set it to CSV. And then next parameter is generate CSV header. In our case, we want to generate the CSV header. So we will set it to true over here. And then last but not the least, setting API key in the header part. I have already set my registered API key in this request header. So now it's time to invoke this API. So for that, let me click on this send button to get our API output. All right, so here we go. You can see here the API's JSON formatted response. Our actual data is resided in this body object, which contain PDF extracted data in CSV format. So now let me copy this content and paste in one CSV file. All right, so let me paste our API response in this file. Let me paste. And now let's save this file. Now let me open the file location. Now let's open this file in Microsoft Excel and compare our extracted fields side by side with the actual PDF file. All right, so as you can see here that company name is extracted from this field and same way invoice ID is extracted from this field. And this is the invoice date, which you can see over here. And same way you can see the bank account number, which is extracted from here. 
and this is the total invoice amount which is extracted from this field so this is how you can use this api as per your requirement now the next video is going to be very interesting for you in the next video we will see how and from where you can change the default separator for the csv file in windows settings so to know that stay tuned with us